Have you ever had someone to wrong you and then gaslight you afterwards like it never happened? Like they don't know what happened? I want you to understand something, that the devil wants to discount your pain. I want to say it one more time. The devil working through folks want to discount your pain. Because I want you to understand some, baby. That pain that you went through is really expensive. You pay a lot just to get to the other side. You didn't even understand how you were going to be able to get over there. But you had to hold on for dear life. All the hell that you went through. All the things that you've gone through. All the pain that you still think about. And it shakes you sometimes to your core. The devil wants to discount that. He wants to discount that. Because that pain is connected to a purpose and that purpose is connected to God's prosperity plan for your life. And that prosperity plan is connected to the hope that God has in your for you. And that hope for you is directly connected to your future, to your fate and to your destiny. And I want you to know today that don't you ever discount anything that you've gone through. Be proud of the things that you've gone through. Be proud of the lessons that it has taught you. You are a scholar when it comes to the things of life. Some of you got a PhD in your experience of all the hell that you have gone through. Don't ever let anybody come into your world to try to make you play make-believe with your pain because you understand what you had to go through just to get to where you are today. Some of us, it's a wonder if we got any sense that God gave us because of the hell that we have gone through and people want to come into your world, act like they're stupid, act like they do not know what they've done and try to gaslight you. They want to discount your pain. They want you to go and act the way that you used to act before you knew any better. They want you to engage in the things that you used to engage in when you just didn't know any better. They want you to say some of the stuff that you used to say when you was just confused in your mind. They want you to just do all the things that you used to do when it's a new version of you that has emerged from the ashes, that has emerged from that fire, that has emerged from the pain. And it is the goal of the devil for you to mess up. It's his goal for you to go back to the way that you used to be. It's his goal for you to continue to just stare at what your life used to be so that you can never go forward in what God has called you to be. And I want you to understand, don't ever discount your pain. Baby, that pain has a purpose in your life. That pain has taught you so much about yourself. That pain has taught you so much about your enemy. That pain has delivered you from so much things, so many things that has been buried on the inside of your belly. That pain, baby, has has gotten you into a red zone that you're getting ready to get one heck of a blessing. Ooh, ooh we See, we have to acknowledge where we came from. We don't ever need to forget where we came from because where we came from helped develop us. And what helped develop us is what, what God will use to sustain us. And when we forfeit the right to be able to stand and teach and encourage and preach and motivate and inspire and change the world, then we just said what we went through was useless. It ain't no way I'm going to go through anything in this life and not get a lesson out of it. Because whenever I get a lesson, I get an advancement because I am a spiritual scholar and what God has called me to do. You are a spiritual scholar, baby, and what God has called you to do. I want you to understand this too, that that pain that you went through gave you immunity because God used that pain to give you a spiritual immunity so that you could walk in the lion's den so that you can walk in the den of vipers so that you can walk in the fire and not get burnt not smell like smoke not be destroyed because the pain gave you spiritual immunity to reach in and pull somebody out and say baby i know what you're going through i've been there i've got my heart broken a million times i've been used abused and treated like dirt i've been stepped over looked over and treated like i don't even exist baby well i want you to understand some baby i know a man come on somebody by the name of jesus christ that came down here and he walked the same walk, baby. He taught me to talk the way that I talk. He taught me to feel the way that I feel. He taught me to teach the way that I teach. He taught me to just be the way that I am. He's walked 
through everything that you've gone through. He's loved on people that turned his, their backs on him. They betrayed him. They acted like they didn't even know him. They didn't even want to be seen with him, but he taught them everything that they knew. So when it comes to being betrayed and when it comes to be letting down, let down, when it comes to getting your heart broken and to be so embarrassed because everybody sees what you're going through and they laughed and they poked and made fun of you. He, he conquered that for you. He nailed that to the cross for you. He was bruised for you. He was beaten for you to get that breakthrough. Don't you ever, as long as you live, please listen to me today. Oh, discount your pain. Don't discount it. Cash it in. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't discount it. Cash it in. Oh, come on, somebody today. Don't discount it. Go ahead on and cash it in. Baby, that's a spiritual token that God has given you to use and walk and grab souls. It is a spiritual token that God has given you to use because you have that immunity. You have that immunity. The devil knows that you got it too. And he wants you to discount yourself. All he's ever wanted you to do is discount yourself. And all the hell that he caused you to go through, he wants you to discount your pain. When your pain has given you the key to unlock a door for you to reign in this environment. And until the next video, guys, peace. Because I still be believing where you at. Oh, <laughs> and you. Bye.